Hi, this is Phil Harvey. I'm here at the Big 5G event in Denver, Colorado, and I'm at the QCT booth, one of our sponsors here at the event. And joining me today is Howard Wu, one of our uh, executives who was keynoting uh, during the program. Howard, thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Uh, so one of the things you know we're curious about is QCT's sort of place in the 5G world. Um, so the 5G era is clearly here. What are some of the biggest market challenges that 5G poses? We always tend to do the infrastructure investment, which is always in the billions first, yeah. and then the use case comes later. Now, the faith is that everybody trusts there's a use case for the network. Right. And um, usually it's a, call it a four to six year delay in the investment and the use case. And I think today it's no different, right? 5G is perceivably the first infrastructure network that is going to be a machine enabled IoT network. Mm -hmm. And so what that allows us to do on the backplane and everything else, um, we're still waiting for the killer use cases. And how does QCT fit in to 5G picture in terms of products and services? Because this is a, a company with uh, many things going on all at once. <laughs> that is correct. Um, and QCT, uh, where our parent company is called Quanta Computer. Mm -hmm. And if you think about what Quanta essentially does, if you take the view that the network is the backplane, and every device, whether it's a phone, a tablet, a car, or a data center, is a device on that network. We are one of the world's largest manufacturer of these end devices that sits on top of that network. So when it comes to 5G network, infrastructure investment, we literally are one of the biggest players uh, in the industry today. Mm -hmm. And so it is extremely relevant to us, not only on the device end, but also on the back end, on the data center side, the server infrastructure side. And in particular now at a time where we see compute and communications really converging, um, you know, I think we play a critically leadership role mm -hmm. in how we drive this industry forward. What particular technology markets or even geographies is QCT excelling at now in, at this stage in 5G? One of the biggest challenges is how do I build a software defined infrastructure, mm -hmm. right? On the network side. And that enables faster services. And like you said earlier, uh, moving compute to the far edge and closer to the applications and the end users, whether that end user is a human or a device. Um, so I think moving those type of workloads to the far edge and doing those kind type of activities, that's exactly what sort of we've been finding success on, right? And how do you drive common technology and common components so you do get some sort of economies of scale, right? So taking a very um, closed system and making it more, much more of an open ecosystem. Something that the you know, technology sector really has driven over the last 40 years. Mm -hmm. um, you know, tech itself wasn't this way 40 years ago. Right. We certainly disaggregated the layers of complexity and infrastructure and technology into consumable bytes and pieces. And so I think we're just taking that you know, 40 year experience that we have learned uh, on the tech side and really apl uh, applying it to the communications and the telecom industry. That makes sense. Let's talk about uh, private 5G networks and what you see uh, is the opportunity there that does seem to be a big issue and a big use case for the industry. How does QCT address private networks? Private 5G, I think it's a, a brand new use case and certainly a brave new world for all of us. Um, I think we all heard a lot between IoT, between Industry 4.0 which is really the automation of manufacturing facilities and machinery, right? So in a typical manufacturing site, nothing is connected to the internet, right? right? Yeah. So now with everything that sits on top of the network, how do you then put software inside the network and you automate the process and manage all of that? And that is a tremendous use case for private 5G, not to mention the additional security the control you have over your network, the priority you have versus, you know, mission critical machinery versus secondary equipment. Um, so the type of flexibility for anybody who is a business owner or a PNL driver, um, those are the type of projects and certainly on private 5G that we're looking at. Okay. So you mentioned the importance of open networks. How does Open RAN fit into QCT's 5G strategy? Certainly at this conference, we've heard open RAN all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think taking our success and remember for the, over the last decade, we really built to be our number one position inside the cloud service provider space. So 
taking our past decade of experience of how to help companies scale globally reliable, massively deployable infrastructure into their data center and their remote sites has been a core competence of QCT. And so how do we take that and everything we learned on the cloud side and really applying it to the telecom side? For example, we're one of the original founders for OCP project, right? Mm -hmm. So taking those type of open source hardware based experiences and applying it at the open RAN alliance and level, um, being part of that ecosystem to really push for disruption. And then because we're hardware infrastructure side, we don't, we play our role nicely. We provide all the endpoints and we don't use other tools for vendor lock-in. Okay. So we take a complete open and embrace strategy when it comes to that infrastructure investment. Okay, now putting it all together, how does cloud native Open RAN and 5G all come together and where is QCT in that picture? Certainly the cloudification, right? Or, or cloud native in the telecom sense mm -hmm. um, provides everybody flexibility on the hardware side, right? Driving less SKUs, uh, being able to run multiple workloads and applications on common hardware, uh, that really provides a flexibility in terms of both CapEx investment and certainly OpEx side. Um, you know, in terms of the open RAN community, that is a community initiative that we are a part of in trying to drive change uh, inside the industry. And then when it comes to 5G, 5G, like I said, I think, you know, the first, you know, 1G, 2G, 3G and 4G, it was a network designed to have humans at the end, end user. Mm -hmm. And starting 5G, we are really seeing device type workloads where uplink is more important than downlink and you know security, machine to machine, device end management, those type of things that starts to show up inside a 5G network. So I think it's taking what we know, mm -hmm. cloud as flexibility, driving community change, and then also 5G is connecting as a technology. And I think putting all these things together, I think Quanta and QCT certainly plays a critical role in all these intersections. Fantastic. Well, thanks so much for tying this together. Cloud native computing, Open RAN and 5G and explaining QCT's role in all of this. Howard, thanks so much for your time. No problem. Thank you very much. And thank you.